Hello and welcome to HIPAA Horror Stories, Tales from the Dark Side of the HIPAA Omnibus Rules, presented by HIPAA Made Easy. Hi, I'm Jill O'Brocta, the founder of HIPAA Made Easy, a compliance solutions web education company. I've been researching, developing, and educating healthcare professionals on HIPAA compliance since 2003. Thanks for joining me. We'll spend the next 20 minutes making sense of the new HIPAA Omnibus Rules. I'll provide insight that will help you clearly understand how HIPAA impacts your day-to-day -day business dealings in a big way. We'll review various HIPAA horror stories that are happening throughout the country in unsuspecting healthcare facilities that have not taken the time nor the proper steps to ensure compliance within their offices. And we'll set you up for success. We'll learn about comprehensive HIPAA solutions that will have your healthcare facility updated and fully HIPAA compliant to these new HIPAA Omnibus Rule standards in no time. What is HIPAA? Well, this area of law is governed by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services and the Office of Civil Rights. HIPAA protects patients' rights to ensure that all patient information stays private and confidential to these new HIPAA Omnibus Rules. And the path to understanding these new mandates is with updated employee training and use of updated employee paperwork and forms within your healthcare facility. HIPAA stands for the Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act of 1996. Its original intent was to make your health insurance portable if you were moving from state to state and to make it transferable without allowing insurance companies to drastically increase your premiums. Today, HIPAA protects an individual's identifiable health information, past, present, or future, and this is referred to as PHI, or protected health information. What is an omnibus, you ask? Well, by definition, it's a volume containing several previously published parts. 580 pages of HIPAA omnibus rules now exist. Non-compliance with these laws can bring $10,000 to $1.5 million in fines. And if your health care facility is non-compliant and delinquent, that can put you in even more harm's way. But what does this mean to your health care facility? It will mean operating in a much stricter privacy and security standard. HIPAA holds all U.S. health care facilities accountable to keep certain patient information private and secure. Your healthcare facility must implement strict HIPAA compliance protocols that involve many HIPAA forms for patients, employees, and business vendors, as well as HIPAA employee training. And facility computer and internet protocols need to be updated too. This includes software updates in conformity with daily data backup requirements, internet interface standards, and even outgoing email encryption, all to ensure that patient information stays private to these new HIPAA Omnibus rules. And what do HIPAA auditors look for during a healthcare facility audit? There are three key components. Training. All of your team members need to be trained to the new HIPAA Omnibus rules with written proof of HIPAA training on file. HIPAA auditors will expect this and it's the law. This applies to both clinical and non-clinical full and part-time employees. Paperwork. HIPAA forms will need to be updated, including employee training and confidentiality agreements on file, use of new updated patient HIPAA acknowledgement forms, updated business associate agreements from all of your business vendors that either see or use your patient information, annual data backup and contingency reports, and a new HIPAA manual written to the omnibus rule standard. And facility protocols, there are at least 20 facility checkpoints that need to be functioning to the omnibus rule standard within your healthcare facility. From private patient checkout areas to HIPAA compliant internet and software configurations and encryption that applies to your off-site daily data backup, outgoing emails, credit card processing, faxes, and even texts. Now, let's review these three components in detail. Employee training to the HIPAA omnibus rule standard. Under the new HIPAA Omnibus rules, all employees must be trained to understand the scope of HIPAA and patient privacy rights. 
Keeping patient information private is key, and acting appropriately with protected health information and electronic protected health information is foundational. All employees must be HIPAA trained prior to working with patient information. They must sign a HIPAA training and confidentiality agreement and always be accountable when at or away from the workplace with patient protected health information. Are your employees trained in PHI? Remember, HIPAA protects a patient's identifiable health information, whether past, present, or future. This is called PHI, or protected health information. There are 18 common protected health identifiers. Most healthcare facilities use number 1 through 10 in their daily business transactions. You may even use number 17 in your workplace. But when these three protected health identifiers are matched together, the stakes become high for extreme protective protocols within your healthcare facility. When a social security number is matched with a name and a date of birth, the PHI must be securely guarded. Identity thieves seek this trifecta and are prone to target healthcare facilities to steal unprotected devices that house this patient information. Make sure that all laptops are secured with encryption, that servers are stored in a secure room or bolted to the ground or piece of furniture with a server cage or server locker. And please retire all take-along backup drives. Update to automatic encrypted off-site data storage that complies to the HIPAA omnibus rule standards. Now, if you experience the theft or loss of an unsecured device, this is what commonly occurs after such an incident. If more than 500 of your patient files are compromised, you'll want to be responsible to notify all patients, both with written and verbal notice, within 60 days of the discovery. You'll also have to notify all local media to include TV, radio, and newspaper. And of course, you'll have to be obligated to notify the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services as well as this is a serious HIPAA breach. This will elicit an 18-month HIPAA audit. By the time, with all of the media alerted, your practice will notice a 50% drop in patient retention. No one wants to frequent a practice where their personal data has been compromised. Your practice will also need to secure a HIPAA lawyer who will require a retainer of on average $50,000. And the final result, has an average HIPAA fine ranging from $50,000 to $150,000. This isn't worth it. Make sure you secure all of your devices so they're protected with your patient health information. Let's talk about all of your devices that are vulnerable. Your data server, where is it kept in your office? If it's out in the open and not in a dedicated ventilated closet or room, you may want to think about purchasing a server cage or a server locker. These can be purchased online for about two to $300. They'll allow you to bolt your server to the floor or to a piece of furniture to prevent identity thieves from seeking out and stealing these information-rich devices. Using take-along backup drives are proving to be very risky for healthcare owners as healthcare offices are being targeted for theft of portable data backup drives that contain all patient data on one small disk. This is also a favorite item for identity thieves and also a favorite HIPAA auditor's fine. If you're still using take-along backup drives to store your daily data, then you might want to consider upgrading to a secure off-site encrypted cloud alternative. This is very smart business using a business class snapshot off-site encrypted cloud or live cloud streaming are great options but these may not protect your emails from corruption and ransomware consider the best option a business continuity system that meets the current mandate for off-site encrypted cloud storage with the added benefit of protecting your email and software from corruption You'll also have to consider updating and protecting your fax transmission. Fax work through phone lines. Even secure phone lines can be accessed by hackers. In today's high-tech world of HIPAA, you must also apply safeguard principles for your incoming and outgoing fax transmission. So what's the remedy? You'll want to update your fax by securing a service that can convert your faxes to encrypted email. 
and send them using secure launchers. Or if you're not ready to convert, you must establish sensible policies, written fax policies for sending, saving, shredding, and breach reporting of missent faxes. Under this policy, you'll have to con use cover sheets, always send test faxes, and make many other considerations to protect your PHI transmission via fax. This written policy option can be troublesome and cumbersome and still not as compliant as encrypted email fax conversion using a trusted service. Finally, you may want to eliminate all risk by not sending faxes at all, but many healthcare facilities still rely upon the quickness and the convenience of the fax. Weigh your decision carefully and be sure to protect any patient information that you're transmitting via fax. Also, take safeguard measures to keep your office's Wi-Fi secure. Make sure that you have two separate Wi-Fi systems or password partitions that ensure that patients cannot access your office's Wi-Fi. Healthcare facility teams need to know what is prohibited. Everything from conversations and texting rules to shredding paper. From making sure computer screens are in HIPAA screen mode protection during work hours to proper and professional prudent behavior when on the internet, at home, or when in the workplace. All healthcare workers in the USA now have to be very discreet when dealing with patient PHI. If your healthcare team likes to use cell phones and tablets to text or email patient health information to stay in touch, research trusted resources to protect your text and email correspondence. Some great resources are from PerfectServe.com. Check out their Synchrony phone app. And if your healthcare specialty may even have apps available like the Opera DDS app that's available for dentistry. Search for these on your mobile devices and make sure your entire team gets in sync with the same app. This will keep you up to modern day HIPAA protection standards. Don't delay, this is important and it will help your team avoid many HIPAA horror stories. Let's discuss the requirements for updating your HIPAA paperwork under the HIPAA omnibus rules. I hate to tell you this, but there's a lot of paperwork that you'll have to update to this new HIPAA standard. And you'll want to be sure that you're using at least eight forms updated to this new HIPAA Omnibus Rule standard. Let's take a look. Does your patient HIPAA acknowledgement form look like this? This form is from the HIPAA of 2003. It's outdated. The new HIPAA Omnibus Rule forms are robust and purposeful. An updated patient HIPAA acknowledgement form should look like this one, written to the new HIPAA Omnibus standard. It should include a professional record release so that you can share x-rays and patient records with other healthcare providers. Also, a statement of how your patient would like to be summoned by name. First name is the new protective language of HIPAA, but it may not be respectful in all of your professional dealings. So a statement like this will get permission from your patients to be able to call them by surname as usual. Next, you should have a guardians with access statement listed on your HIPAA form. Receptionists, be sure to get all names listed here, especially in situations when divorcing parents may have to list ex-grandparents or new boyfriends or girlfriends that bring children to your office for healthcare visits. Treatment, financial, and contact methods should be listed and updated at least annually, and all patients have the right to opt out of text or email. And finally, if you dispense products under these new HIPAA Omnibus rules, you must get a patient signature that allows you to pitch, sell, and dispense products. Does your office have an employee technology use agreement filled out and signed on file for each employee? If not, you'll have to get one or create this newly required HIPAA form for every employee to sign. Make sure that new hires sign it prior to handling your patient's PHI and keep this and all required HIPAA forms on file as HIPAA auditors check for this important paperwork straight away. And here's
here's an extra tip about your forms. Buyer beware of HIPAA update kits that will have you making your own HIPAA forms. This can take an average of 30 hours per form, and you'll have to study the laws and design your forms, then review the form for accuracy. And who has time to study the intricacies of these laws? Make sure that you don't get stuck in this cumbersome and time-consuming there's an awful lot of paperwork, and you may already be using updated omnibus rule forms within your healthcare facility. That's awesome. Be sure you're using the patient acknowledgement form. If you're using paper within your office, print between 1,000 and 2,000 of these as all patients need to sign these, or get access to an electronic version and make sure you're using this with getting signatures for all patients within your practice. Next, a business associate agreement for all vendors who see or use your patient information. Print 10 to 20 of these, depending on how many vendors you deal with, or you can email vendors the form. Make sure you get a signed copy back and keep it on file as HIPAA auditors check these. A third-party medical release form for any guardians who want to pick up records or x-rays for your patients. Your receptionist should have access to this form either in paper or electronic format. At least once per year, your IT tech should fill out an annual data backup and contingency report that acknowledges your daily data backup practices and that it meets HIPAA omnibus rule standards and that you have a recovery plan for PHI in case of any office catastrophe. A new notice of these laws needs to be on display within your office. Make a reception room copy or create a couple of clipboards with laminated versions for your patients to read. Also, if you have a website, a new notice of the HIPAA Omnibus Rules Notice of Privacy Practices needs to be posted on your website. It's the law. And finally, make sure that all employees sign an employee training confidentiality agreement that proves they've been trained and understand the confidentiality compliance requirements of the HIPAA Omnibus Rules, a high-tech law employee agreement and the newest required employee form, the Employee Technology Use Agreement. And here's an insider's tip. Buyer beware of HIPAA update kits that will have you making your own HIPAA forms. This can take an average of 30 hours per form. You have to study the laws, design your form, and then review it for accuracy. And who has time to study the intricacies of these laws? Make sure you don't get stuck with this cumbersome and time-consuming task. It ends up being very fruitless. Instead, be sure to order HIPAA kits with pre-made forms. HIPAA Made Easy provides all of the required forms in ready-to-use formats and specifically designed for the healthcare office setting. And we review the design of our forms with our legal team of experts to ensure that they provide accuracy for the healthcare office environment. Now, we'll review office protocols to the new HIPAA Omnibus Rule Standard. To properly implement these HIPAA Omnibus Rules from concept and forms to your existing work environment, it can seem unfathomable. The best way to become completely HIPAA compliant to these new standards is to make a checklist that flows from the point at which your patient walks into your office and tracks them throughout the patient treatment process, including all of your technology and obligations. At HIPAA Made Easy, we include a comprehensive checklist that provides a specific flow so that you won't miss a beat when you set up these standards. It will be concise and comprehensive. One more important HIPAA safeguard to implement is to watch your outgoing mail. This situation begins with a very happy cosmetic full smile makeover patient in a dental office and ends in HIPAA hell for the dentist and team. A divorcing female moved in with her mom after a recent divorce. She decided to use some funds from her divorce settlement to have a complete smile makeover, and she absolutely loved it. She looked beautiful, and it corrected some of her crooked, dingy-looking yellow teeth with a fresh, fabulous, dating-ready smile. She had a balance to pay off, and her statement was mailed to her mom's house. No one at the dental office thought that would be inappropriate, and so the statement went out in the mail with the other monthly statements. The patient was furious. Her mom opened her mail, was very upset that her daughter invested so much money in the cosmetic work, and they had a terrible fight. The patient realized that no one at the dental office asked or offered to update her contact information. She realized that she had not filled up an update patient HIPAA acknowledgement form in more than a year. She contacted the Office of Civil Rights 
and reported this disservice as a HIPAA complaint. HIPAA compliance, it's sure starting to look expensive, isn't it? Security and privacy is expensive. So as we work through the rest of this presentation, start to consider a HIPAA compliance budget. Research companies or work with your current HIPAA training coach to utilize reliable and affordable solutions that will protect your business's mail, paper, email, text, and faxes from being compromised. Encryption and secure storage safeguards are the best practices to comply with these new HIPAA omnibus rules. Sure, this will add some unexpected monthly service fees, but it's better to budget two to $3,000 per year to protect your patient information than to suffer HIPAA omnibus rule fines that start at $10,000 and go upward to $1.5 million. Be prudent and forward think a reasonable HIPAA compliance budget for your healthcare location. Now we'll delve into the bleak, the unbelievable, the ridiculous, the macabre, HIPAA horror stories. These stories are not to scare or intimidate you, but rather they should enlighten you to have you become a savvy HIPAA healthcare provider and henceforth set up comprehensive, sensible HIPAA protection protocols within your business dwelling. Let's travel over to the dark side of HIPAA, shall we? One little flash drive. February 2015, Florida Health Center. An unencrypted flash drive goes missing. This USB drive contains 2,700 patient files with the patient's name, date of birth, social security number, and insurance information on the drive. The U.S. Department of Health and Human Services traces several breach reports back to Florida Health Center, which results in an 18-month-long HIPAA audit with weekly visits to Florida Health Center. It's painful and very disruptive to the business. The moral of the story? Destroy, secure, encrypt, cloud store all of the backups in your office. Now, you might not be able to control what every employee does at every given moment with your patient information, but you must put each of your employees through a thorough HIPAA Omnibus Rule employee training course and then have them sign three different HIPAA employee training, confidentiality, and technology use agreements. It's the law. Rogue employee steals PHI of 2,000 patients. February 2016, Point Medical Services. A former employee takes a backup drive with 2,000 patient files to her new employer. A patient who receives a marketing call gets perturbed and reaches out to Point. Point realizes that there's foul play in the works and contacts a lawyer, then takes legal action against this employee. Point kept proper HIPAA employee paperwork on file that included a signed HIPAA training and confidentiality agreement, a high-tech privacy agreement, and an employee technology use agreement, which holds up in court. The moral of this story, train and vet all of your employees. This includes not only training sessions and having proper documents signed by all of your employees, but you should conduct regular HIPAA meetings with your employees to discuss what to do under various situations, like the ones we're discussing right now. Chances are that your office has CPR certification meetings, fire drills, or even emergency evacuation drills, right? Why not plan a meeting to discuss how to avert HIPAA horror stories? This will bring clarity and unity to your team for how to protect your patient information, especially when it comes to protecting backup drives, mail, fax, email, and texts. Don't go fishing in Wyoming. February 2016, Wyoming Medical Center of Casper. 3,100 patient files are exposed when two employees click on unsuspecting email links that then compromise these accounts. The internet hackers sat patiently fishing or waiting for an employee to bite their line and when they did, the hackers got access to 3,100 files with only two employee clicks. 
Wyoming Medical Center had 60 days to notify 3,100 patients of the breach. This took a lot of employee manpower. And Wyoming Medical Center is currently under an 18-month HIPAA inspection, which also requires a lot of due diligence, providing their HIPAA protocols are up to date and functioning to current technology standards of the HIPAA omnibus rules. Moral of this story? Don't click on unsuspecting emails when you're at home or at work and get reliable email encryption, which is a software patch that will scramble up your outgoing email. And you'll also want to have firewalls that are up to date and working to warn of harmful embedded email links. Reality Bites! December 2015, Dental Office USA. Patty is a loyal dental office manager of 16 years. She receives a call from a disgruntled patient one Monday morning demanding that x-rays be sent for a second opinion to another dentist across town. Patty graciously shuts down the request by saying, when your balance is paid in full, I'll send those radiographs right over and clicks down the receiver. The patient sent Patty this request via email 32 days ago in writing. The patient knows that under the new HIPAA omnibus rules, she's entitled to her patient records with 30 days notice, but Patty is not up to speed on these new HIPAA omnibus rule requirements. The patient reported Patty to the Department of Health and Human Services. The dental office suffered a $17,000 fine for withholding patient PHI with proper written notice. Moral of this story? Train all of your employees to the new HIPAA omnibus rule standards. Don't withhold patient record requests. Deliver them within 30 days throughout the country, but Texas has a delivery date for PHI with written notice of 15 days. Make sure that you never withhold requests for patient records just because the patient owes a balance. Remember, with 30 days written notice, you must deliver patients' requests for their records. I'll get you, girlfriend. January 2015, in a pediatric office in the USA, a mom showed up at her child's checkup appointment, but waits in the reception room unnoticed. Her ex-husband's new girlfriend took her child to this appointment. Upon waiting and watching, mom noticed that the new girlfriend got billing insurance and treatment information on her child. Mom concluded her stalking incident by reporting this situation as a breach of confidentiality of patient PHI to a non-authorized party to the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. The doctor's office fine was $23,000 for unlawfully sharing patient PHI. Moral of this story? Update and train your team to the new HIPAA omnibus standard. Make sure that your HIPAA forms are also updated and make sure that your reception team shares patient information only with listed guardians that have access to patient records. Yelp me, I'm in trouble. March 2016 in a dentist's office, USA. A dentist responds to a negative Yelp comment that he sees posted about his dental work. The dentist wrote, due to your clenching and grinding habit, this is not the first molar tooth that you've lost due to a fractured root. Uh-oh, big trouble, doc. Doctors do not have the right to share patient health information, which includes treatment information, especially on the internet. Currently, this poor dentist is in the midst of a HIPAA audit. Moral of the story, get proper training to the HIPAA omnibus rule standard. Practice owners should be the most educated as they're ultimately responsible to implement all HIPAA protocols that include employee training, required HIPAA paperwork, and HIPAA facility protocols for physical, administrative, and technical aspects of the practice and always be prudent when making posts on the internet. It's best to let negative ratings be buried in positive ones. When you have a negative rating on your website, encourage valued patients to make a positive post on your behalf. 
Now, if you think these real life scenarios are valuable to hear and you'd like to keep up on this kind of HIPAA news, then check out thehippajournal.com. It's a website that lists many current interesting HIPAA compliance mishaps, also offers simple interpretations of the current HIPAA law and breaking HIPAA news. Many healthcare practitioners think that these HIPAA horror stories won't happen to them, that their practice is just too small, too streamlined, or that their patients and employees are just too cool. But the truth is, it's never cool to suffer through a HIPAA audit. And by the time you may realize it, you could have stepped into a dangerous HIPAA landmine. Should you want additional compliance news, you can subscribe to our Compliance Connection newsletter. It's full of the most current HIPAA-breaking news and helpful tips to keep your healthcare facility in compliance. Just send us your email to answers at HIPAAomnibusroll.com. We'll keep you in the know. By now, I'm sure this is all starting to sound overwhelming and painful, like a root canal. And I'll admit, the HIPAA laws can seem painful, but compliance solutions are the quickest and healthiest remedy. So now, let's review what we covered today. We talked about what's really required for your healthcare facility under these HIPAA omnibus rules. A complete review of the 580 pages of HIPAA law is imperative. You'll have to be thorough and include employee training to the HIPAA Omnibus standard, updated paperwork to this standard, and facility protocols to match and be modernized as well. So now that you're hip to these new HIPAA rules, don't inch by on hope. Get comprehensive HIPAA compliance solutions set up in your healthcare facility. And creating comprehensive solutions will be your key to success. Keep in mind, that at HIPAA Made Easy, this is our dedicated passion. We've reviewed the 580 pages of HIPAA Omnibus Rules in detail with our legal team, and our HIPAA Omnibus Rule Kit provides you everything you'll need to be completely compliant. Our HIPAA Omnibus Rule Complete Compliance Package includes everything you see listed, a 45-minute employee training video and proof of training employee certificate, a new HIPAA manual written to the Omnibus Rule Standard, all required electronic forms specifically designed for the healthcare facility and ready to use on CD-ROM in both Microsoft Word and PDF formats. And you won't have to implement this alone. A 30-minute guided health navigational phone consultation is included should you need it. You can speak with one of our HIPAA experts to navigate this material and fill in the blanks of our manual, ask questions, and become your own mini-expert. And our Texas viewers will have one additional HIPAA requirement. Every two years in Texas, all healthcare facilities are required to complete and abide by a state HIPAA module called Texas HB 300 or House Bill 300. For an easy do-it-yourself solution, we offer an easy to understand and implement Texas HB 300 module that includes a video, workbook, an employee worksheet certificate that fulfills your HB 300 obligations. You'll have your team entirely HB 300 compliant in less than an hour. Call us for details. Now that you're enlightened, get inspired to set up comprehensive HIPAA solutions in your office so that you can have peace of mind and rest assured that you won't be troubled by any HIPAA horror stories. The HIPAA Made Easy Complete Compliance Package should be ordered through our websites, HIPAAomnibusroll.com or our dental division, DentalEnhancements.com, or you can call us directly at the number you see listed on your screen. We also offer OSHA Made Easy Compliance Modules for the dental industry. Why not call us for a complimentary compliance discovery meeting? We're happy to discuss your compliance needs and make sure you're setting up your compliance protocols correctly and that they're streamlined and comprehensive to all current mandate standards. We serve the healthcare for federal HIPAA compliance and dental sectors for OSHA and GHS mandates. It's our pleasure to help you if you ever have any questions, regardless of your healthcare specialty. You can reach out to us via phone or email. It's listed on your screen. Our OSHA Made Easy and HIPAA Made Easy solutions are amazing. Please reach out to us and let us be your resource as you set up protocols for compliance within your healthcare office.